What's up? It's Naomi the Crafty Savage here, and I am back for this week's Savage Story Time. So we're doing things just a little, little different. It's coming out on a Sunday instead of a Saturday. I know I shouldn't be judging people on the Lord's Day, but I, technically I'm doing it on Saturday. I'll ask him to forgive my sins when I go to bed tonight, right? It's all good. It's all good, right? So... I hope you guys are ready. Make sure you got your popcorn, your chips, your snacks, your tea, your soda, your coffee, whatever it is that you are drinking. Get them ready because we are getting into some MID applesauce. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, you heard that right. But I will not be held responsible if you choke or like shoot it out your nose. That is all on you. Okay, so let's get into this, right? Alrighty, put my little glasses on, right? So obviously, real quickly before I get into these stories, the reason that Savage Storytime is coming out on Sunday and not Saturday, long story short, I ran to go get shoes to go with my outfit for the christening for Chicky Nuggy and Moose. And I saw the nail salon. Yep, yep, I went back, you know, since Alex left me, that little nail cheater. Anywho, um, so yeah, it kind of turned into like a day of pampering and I recommend like go out and do that. Do that for yourself. Do something that makes you feel pretty, that makes you feel good. If it's something as simple as putting on your makeup, go out and do that, right? Now let's get into savage story time or I'm gonna start judging people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so quickly, this first one right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it says am i the applesauce for returning a birthday gift i got from my boyfriend after he insulted me about my colorful past why is he insulting you about your past your past is your past like hmm i mean like what did you return i mean i honestly like I'm, 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 I'm kind of leaning with not the applesauce here, but let's, let's get into it. Maybe, maybe she did some like wow, crazy things, right? Okay. So it says, I, female 26, dipped into my savings account and got my boyfriend, 27 male, a PlayStation 5 for his birthday yesterday. Oh, what a lovely girlfriend you are. He knew he was getting the PlayStation 5 because he told me that the PlayStation 5 is the only thing that he wants. Okay, well, he made it easy for you. Um, we've been together for four years, so the cost didn't matter. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, how long have you been with him though, you know? Like four years, like, yeah, I'd probably do the same thing. You know, like if it's only been a couple of months, I'd be like, mm, no, I'm not buying you a PlayStation 5. Go kick rocks, right? Exactly. Um. That is until, until, right? I found out what he thinks about me. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, like take your, you know, little like munchies or whatever. Take your sips now because I have a feeling this is about to get good, right? And we don't want y'all choking on it. So it says, are you guys ready? Are you done chewing? Are you done drinking? Nothing's gonna come flying out your nose? Okay. So it says, some background. Ooh, we're getting the background. You know, you know, I'm always like, sometimes I'm like, I got some questions though, right? When I was 18, okay, so 26, so they met when she was 22, so it wasn't even like she was with dude. I was involved with this guy who I met online, okay? We ended things after three months. Okay. And I moved on shortly after with another guy from work. Okay. Like how, how shortly after? You failed to leave that out there, sweet cakes. I'm just saying. But, but anywho, anywho, let's, let's not judge, you know, like we've all done that. Let me tell you, in my 20s, I was like jumping from relationship to relationship. Like I could not stand to be alone. Now I'm like, 
after a breakup i'm like nah honey i'm like you take some time for you you find out who you are before you put yourself back out there exactly um okay so she started dating this guy from work i found out a couple months later that the the two guys that like she was dating and then the guy from work were actually really close friends. Oh, snap, jiggity dog. Ooh, you are homie jumping, honey. Mm-mm, mm-mm. But I didn't know how long, uh, wait, I didn't know how long, I'm gonna have to say the dude's name, Jake. Jake was the, um, who is Jake? Jake's the dude she met online when she was 18, right? And then, you know, it didn't work out with Jake, so she went and homie hopped over to, what's this dude's name? Adam, right? Because I guess, obviously, I can't be discreet about this, right? But, but we ain't giving out last names. It ain't like I'm handing out his social security number saying his old government name. Mm -mm. No, no, no. There's a lot of Jakes and Adams out there, right? Right. So we're just going to back up a little bit. So it says some background. When I was 18, I was involved with Jake, a guy who I met online. We ended things after three months, and I moved on shortly with Adam, a guy from work. Okay. I found out a couple months later that Jake and Adam were actually really close friends. I bet you Jake asked Adam because he knew that you worked with him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I bet you Jake's behind this. I'm just saying. Any, anywho, I'm jumping all over the place. Let me get through this first story. Um... Found out later, couple of close friends, but I didn't know Jake long enough to meet his friend group, so I had no idea. Okay. After finding out, I took some time off dating, and two years later, good for you, honey, good for you, I met my current boyfriend. His name's Mike, in case you were wondering. Mm -hmm. I was upfront and honest with Mike about my past and the fact that I. I was unintentionally involved with friends. Okay. He said he understood and my past didn't bother him. If this is what he's throwing up in your face, honey. I don't know if you're going to like my answer. Um, last night at his party, I showed up with the PlayStation 5. You know, being the good girlfriend you are. And him and his friends were screaming with joy. Yeah, because they probably wanted to play it, right? His best female friend, Jessica, laughed and said, I wish I was a thought so I could afford a PlayStation 5 to... Oh! Let me not assume. Maybe Jessica's just jealous of your relationship and wants Mike, right? Right? Okay. I looked at her with an excuse me look on my face and she just said, never mind, and walked away. Okay, I don't think I would have stayed. I would have been like, mm, yeah, no, I'm, I'm out in this PlayStation. <sighs> I confronted my boyfriend about it and he said, I quote, she's just messing with you. You can't take a joke. So does she know about I'm I'm assuming no that the that this girl did not tell this other chick about, you know, dating the dude online and then, you know, dating some dude. Like come on, we've all nobody's freak So I pushed further as to why this girl is even calling me names to begin with. And he said, well, everyone knows you were a thought before we met, before you met me. No, he did not. No, he did not. Honey, I hope you, you, you still had that PlayStation 5 in your hand and you took that back and you got your money back and you went out and pampered yourself, honey. That's what you need to do. I need to finish this story. Oh, he then pat me, he then pat me on the shoulder and said that it's okay because I'm not who I was back then 
and if he could get over my colorful past and the and thought mentalities to give me a chance then I could get over Jessica's comments and give her another chance. And this is when she was 18, right? And she's now 26. And this is four, so she's been with her boyfriend for four years, right? So she was 22 when she met him, okay? And then this happened when she was 18. So that was four years prior to that. Dear Lord, baby, Jesus, who I'd be wrecking an orange jumpsuit. I'm just saying, I'd be like, Lord, Lord, please, like, you deal with these people, like, because, who I can't, I can't do it. I didn't say anything. I just got up, took the PlayStation 5 from the gift table, and left. Good for you, sweetheart. Good for you. Because, first off, he shouldn't be talking about you like that with his friends, like, no, 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 no. Oh, it's not, it's not done. It's not done. Oh, I thought it was done. It ain't done. Oh, this is good. He was pissed. Oh, good, good. You know what? Like what? Your feelings aren't validated. Your feelings don't matter. Like why, why is he bringing up stuff that you did from eight freaking years ago, four years before you even met him? Who is he? Like he ain't out there hoeing around. There I go. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, bless me. I'm so sorry. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, no. He literally called me like 20 times, but I didn't care. Good for you. I was so hurt that I took the bow off of it. Wait, took the bow off and took it straight back to the store I got it from. They happily refunded it. Good, good. I thought that we were done, but Mike and all his friends, including Jessica, mm -hmm, including the one who's started well no technically i guess mike her boyfriend started it but why did jessica have to throw her little two comments in because she's freaking jealous mm -hmm. that's why um are berating me and being petty and they're all saying i bought i brought this on myself by making poor choices by making poor choices from eight years ago like <sighs> I responded to Mike and told him that he deserves better than me. So find someone who wasn't a thought and get the PlayStation 5 from them because I returned it. Good for you, sweetheart. Good for you. I'd be like, oh, oh, that's like, that's, th that's what you think of me? Like, yeah, yeah, no, like we're, we're, we're good, honey. Like we're, we're good. Like that's, that's what you think? Like, Good. You go, you go out and do you. Like, I'm going to go out and I'm going to do me and I'm going to find a man that appreciates me and appreciates if I'm buying him a PlayStation 5, you damn freaking Skippy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He started screaming how I'm the biggest applesauce for returning it and how I should be happy he ignored my colorful past. But your colorful past was not an issue when you first met four years ago and your colorful past was two years prior to that. What? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just stop. I'm thinking maybe I'm taking it back. Wait, I'm thinking maybe taking it back went too far. Am I the applesauce? No. No, 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 because you're setting an example. Like, if you cave, you're showing him that's the way he can treat you, and that's how you feel about yourself. No, honey, no, 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 no. Go take that money and go buy yourself, like, a new purse. Go go get your hair done. Go get your nails done. Like, go out and spend that money on you, mm, not the applesauce. Okay, Ooh, that one took me a long time to get through. Ooh, it's got me heated over here. Okay, so the next one. Okay, am I the applesauce for telling my sister she needs to pay for childcare or I'm not going to her wedding? Okay, let's get into this. Me, female, my female 25 sister's wedding. Wait, me, tw female 25. Blah, 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 blah. My sister's wedding, female 28, 
is in a couple of months. She recently sent out invitations. I was invited as a regular guest, not a bridesmaid or a maid of honor since we live a state apart. And obviously there are certain levels of involvement and time that goes into being part of a bridal party, which I understood. I want to be there for my sister and obviously I'd like to see her get married. But the problem is I'm a single mom. My son is six. And when he's not at school, I need to be home watching him. So being out for hours at a time isn't really in the cards for me right now. My sister's wedding is child free. Ooh. Since it's taking place in her state, I need to commute and I probably have to be gone from my house for two full days. I can't have family watch my son since they'll all be at the wedding and I don't really have friends who will babysit for two days. Oh, I contacted my sister and asked if she'd be willing to let my son come to the wedding with me and explained he couldn't be left alone so young and that I didn't have anyone to watch him. She responded by telling me her no children policy was strict and she wouldn't make exceptions. I explained my situation again and said, I need some form of childcare or to bring him with me. I then asked if she would pay me, if she would pay me to hire a nanny or babysitter to watch him. She got offended and said, children and wedding are both parts of life. And I need to just figure it out. It's my kid, my problem. Which sure, that's true. But also her wedding, her making it a problem by not allowing me to bring my kid. I told her she could either pay for my childcare or I wouldn't be going to her wedding, which all she did was call me ridiculous and entitled. She said she shouldn't have to pay for my child and that being an adult is knowing how to take care of that kind of thing. I think that's ridiculous. Money is tight, childcare is expensive, ain't it honey? I can't magically afford for someone to watch my six year old and most people would just let me bring him to the wedding. Well, just because most people would does not mean your sister is, you know. My sister says she's definitely not paying for childcare. And I guess you're not going to the wedding then. My whole family is mad at me for not being there for my sister. Am I the applesauce? Edit. Ooh, we got more. We got more. I think some people are misunderstanding the post, so I'll be more clear. I'm not trying to force my sister to pay for anything, but it's totally fine if I can't come. She accepts that. It's just, wait, she accepts that and I just don't go. It's only become a problem when my entire family came to me after for not going to the wedding. I'm not mad at my sister for not paying. I'm mad at her for turning the family against me and saying me doesn't want to come to the wedding and complaining about me behind my back to my parents. She complained ab about me not going to her wedding as if I purposely avoided it. <sighs> that, that one's hard. Like, I'm going to go with, not the applesauce for not going to your sister's wedding. Like, I get that being a single mom, it it's not easy, you know. And when there's family functions and children aren't allowed, like I've I've been there before where I was fortunate that I had friends that would help me out. But there were times when my friends couldn't help me out and it just meant I didn't go. Um, so I'm going to say like not the applesauce or not going, but to expect your sister to pay for childcare. I'm, I'm going to go with the applesauce, you know, like it's, yeah. So this next one, is this the last one? Okay. Yeah. So it says, Am I the applesauce for not letting my girlfriend wear a bikini in front of my family? Why, why can't she wear a bikini? Like, I mean, unless it's like some like string, you know, like strings with like little triangles that barely cover anything, you know, then yeah, like there's classier bathing suits out there. You don't have to be showing off here. Like 
everything you own to everybody. But at the same time, like, who the hell are you to tell a woman what she can and can't wear? Let me get into this. So me, 26 male, and my girlfriend, 22 female, have been dating for around two years now. Good for you. We had our ups and downs, but overall, we have a great relationship, and I definitely see a future together. We really love and respect each other and connect well, but the thing is, we come from different backgrounds. I come from a Muslim background. I'm not that religious, though. Okay, because I was going to be like, what are you, like, one or, let me just stop. And she is white. What does that have to do with the price of cheese in China? However, we have still, however, we still made it work and our similarities are much more than our differences. Exactly. No, no couple is going to 100% match up. You're going to have your differences. You know what I mean? Like that, that would be boring if somebody was the same exact as you, you know, obviously you want the similarities, but there needs to be some I don't know, differences, like, it's just how you work through them. Anywho, let's get back to this. Um, now, my girlfriend does like wearing a bit short clothing when out and about, okay, which used to bother me at first and made me uncomfortable. And we did have a few minor fights over it, but eventually I came to terms with it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's her body, you know what I mean? Like, it's... I mean, she can wear whatever she wants. Me personally, like, I mean, have a little bit of respect in there. You know, I, obviously, like, if you're going to go visit Granny, you know what I mean? Don't don't be wearing revealing, you know what I mean? Like, we ain't send, trying to send Granny to an early grave here, okay? There's, there's, like, times and places for different things, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, however, recently an embarrassing situation happened. There was a pool party at my cousin's house and my parents were there too. Okay. I had recently introduced my girlfriend to my parents as well. So this was a good time, a good time for, to meet family and relatives. I was, I was special, it's a special day. I especially told her wait, to please pack something more on the modest side, okay, as my family would be there. And most women usually don't wear such revealing stuff in our culture. She didn't give me much of a, of a response and just nodded. But what did I see in the pool? Her wearing a two-piece bikini with kind of cheeky bottoms too. Oh, what? Even one piece would have been more bet would have been more better, but nah, she went all in this time. She was probably the one. Wait, she was probably the one that dressed the most immodest. In immodest, I can't talk. Not modest. She wasn't modest. All right. No one said anything, but afterwards, I was so embarrassed I couldn't show my face to my parents at all. I did talk to her about it and scolded her a bit. First off, you shouldn't have scolded her, but at the same time, like, she should have had respect for you going around your family to wear something more modest. Um, yeah. Um, I did talk to her about it and scolded her a bit, and she told me she could wear whatever the H-E double hockey stick she wants whenever she wants. Now, she does have a point there, yes, but out of respect for you and your relationship, I feel that, you know, being around, like, your family, your parents, you know, if they're more lean to, like, the Muslim side, where they're more covered up, she should have had respect for you to not wear you know, a piece of string. Um, I couldn't say anything after afterwards. We've been quiet to each other for a while, but slowly making up now. Am I the applesauce? Y yes, yes and no. Like, you should never tell a woman what to wear. 
I don't think you should have scolded her. But at the same time, you're not the applesauce by asking her, like, hey, like, I know this is what you usually wear. But, you know, could you tone it down a little bit, you know, because we're going to be around my family. And again, she should have had that respect for you. Um, that, that, that one's a hard one. I, I'm going to go 50-50 with that one, too. Um, okay, so this is going to be the last one. And just from the title, I'm so glad I wasn't there. Because my mouth would have gotten me into a lot of trouble. Am I the applesauce for refusing to get out of my chair for an older woman and calling her an idiot. I don't even think I need to read this story. The fact that there was an older woman. Like have you ever heard respect your elders? Get your butt up out of that chair. And let your elders sit down. Like who? who uh, let me get into this. Um, Just, just be careful with your drinks. Because right? I don't know what's going to come flying out of my mouth. All right, so I, 28 female. Okay, so you you definitely know better at 28 years old. You know better. Don't tell me you don't. Have H-E-D-S. I don't, I don't know what that is. Okay, so maybe let me back my words up here a little bit. But still, still. Which for those who don't know is a cognitive tissue disorder. One of, one of the many symptoms is frequent injuries, especially dislocations and subluxations. If you don't know what a subluxation is, it's like a... How do I explain this? I know it from working for a chiropractor. Like a subluxation is something's not... Like st stuff can move. Your bones can move and they're not where they're supposed to be. Is That's not really it, but it's more layman's terms on how to explain it. I wear ankle braces whenever I plan to be on my feet for any period of time. I also dislocated my kneecap playing with a puppy on Saturday. Ooh. I was at the pharmacy and after placing my order, sat down in the only available chair with my leg extended from my knees to get some relief. An older woman, 40s or 50s, hey now, hey now, how dare you, comes up to me and says that I am young and should let the older people have their chair. I responded to pointing at my fully visible ankle brace since my knee brace was hidden by my pants and said something along the lines, are you an idiot that thinks I wear these for a fashion statement? She called me a beach. Mm -hmm. Yep, she, she said beach. That's not what she said, but that's what I'm saying. And sulked away. The other people there gave me weird looks. Was I too harsh? Edit to add. Was not expecting so many replies. I just want to clear a few things up so I, since I can't answer everyone's comments. I don't think 45 is old. I was quoting her saying older. It was one of the reasons I reacted strongly. This isn't the first time I've had an experience like this as well, so I kind of snapped. I also understand that she could have had an invisible disease, but the only reason she gave for her demands, not a polite request, was that she was older than me. There was another occupied chair that had a man about her age in it, and she didn't ask or demand he get up. I would have absolutely given her my chair no problem if she gave me a reason better than mine to sit. I don't think being in your 40s or 50s by itself is a better reason to need a chair than having bad ankles and a recently dislocated kneecap. Anyway, thank you to everyone who replied. I think I'm just going to come up with a snarky response to situations like this that doesn't insult to name calling. Have a nice day. Edit to add to. These comments must have been good. Maybe I should start printing out the comments, too. Guess who is getting death threats for saying they have a fake disorder? Oh, okay. Um, so, I kind of backed that up on what I said after reading the title of it. Um, 
the way she has it worded, like I'm thinking like an elderly person, you know? And then at that point, like, I don't, I don't, I, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like stand up and deal with it. Lean up against a wall, you know, sit on the floor, like let the elderly person come in. But 40 to 50s is not old. Um, and I'm going to go with not the applesauce because it seems like she has a legitimate excuse as to like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to get up because some 40 year old woman wants to sit in my seat. Like, no, no, you know, like stand. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Like I said, like if it was like an older, you know, like an elder, like, mm, mm, I'd be, I'd be finding a chair. I'd be making a chair. I'd be grabbing diaper boxes, you know, and like freaking getting craft in there for that person to sit. But it, yes. So who do you think is the applesauce this week? Because who, some of them, some of them were, I'm going to go with not the applesauce for the chick. Now, I don't, I don't think she should have called the lady an idiot. Like you, you didn't need the name call there like that. That wasn't necessary. But I'm going with not the applesauce for the chick that wouldn't get up. Um... I'm 50-50 on the, you know, girlfriend wearing the bikini in front of the family. Like, I think your girlfriend, when you, I think like when he asked her, you know, it wasn't that he was trying to tell her what to wear. It was kind of more like the way I would take it was, hey, like out of respect for, you know, me my family and what they believe in can you you know be a little more modest and i think that was out of respect right i think the girlfriend got a little petty and was like oh okay and i guarantee you she went and found like the skimpiest freaking bathing suit she could because she was being petty. I don't think you should have scolded her about it. I think maybe you should have talked to her. So I'm going, I'm going to go with 75%, not the applesauce, but that part where you kind of scolded her, you're 25% the applesauce, dude. Um, The sister paying for the child care, um, that's, that's a 50-50 there, right? Now, homegirl, right, who returned the PlayStation 5 that she bought for her boyfriend because he's out there running his mouth telling his friends that she was a thot before they met Four years before they met. And they've been together for four years. So that was eight years ago. And she took two years in between the four years before she met him. Like, you are not the applesauce, honey. No. Go book you like a tropical vacation. Go out. Do you, honey? Like, leave that piece of garbage out on the curb for the garbage man to come to collect, right? You go out and you do you. Like, take that money, make yourself look beautiful, right? Go out and find you a man that's going to appreciate you. You 100%, sweetheart, are not the applesauce. Your boyfriend, on the other hand, oh, he's the, old, he's the whole freaking apple orchard, right? But with that said, guys, I'm going to hop on out of here. If you're new to the channel and you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!